Yeah, for the kids out there that are just like, man, them shirts cost two dollars you know at the thrift store you know yeah, yeah. let them know how much money you you don't have to give a specific number maybe give a range like what's the most expensive that maybe you've seen go for a lot or yeah, or yeah. you personally have yeah, yeah. Uh, so, have sold you know just uh, so they know listen kids i mean the market right now is pretty crazy you yeah. know there's t-shirts going for on average two thousand and up mm. uh there's specific tees of course that's not every t-shirt but there are specific styles. There are specific uh, wrap tees a lot that go for a very high value. Some tees, 6000 10000 I mean, you can find them for $0.50, cents, you know. Mm. Um, it, it could be life-changing, you know. If you know what you're looking for or, yeah. or if it's something that you're interested in, it's a life-changing thing. You know, I've been, I've been selling for 12 years, and this was the first thing that I ever saw Six Figures doing. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Guyado Bang a Boy. You're now tuned with Edition Podcast, man. And today we got a very special guest in the building. We got my man Jake Webb in the building. Yo. Duffel yo. Bag Boy. Hey, Jay good, Webb. Man. Go, go on. It's Hooper. Yeah. It's, it's Father, a couple husband. Of them. Yeah. Rapper. It's a couple titles. It's a <laughs> Entrepreneur. couple titles. You know, yeah. And, and also got a nine to five, also, man. This is a definition of a hustle. So for yeah. all y'all out there that don't think you can manage it, you got the perfect example right here, but uh, here's how I want to start it, man. I got you. I was listening to you know your album, The Duffel Bag mm-hmm. Chronicles. And Appreciate I was like, let's, that. Let's, let's let's see what's up, man. I started off selling weed in the duffel bag. You gotta give us a little performance. Uh, Back is right. That was the hustle, fam. What else? Two cell phones up in traffic, traffic making hella plays. Oh, that was 08 and 09. Oh, nine. in my younger days. Now I'm into flipping vintage tees, worth G's. Twenty and each. You do the map. That's close to fifty on me. Negotiations with the plug, man. A nigga try to see over a million my account from slanging vintage tees. Ooh, we started off selling mid, then I moved my way up. I'm digging all through them bins, praying. For come up, I grab it all by the pops. My numbers really add yeah. up. And once I got enough, we I had the to go and DJ. chase to go up. Oh, I I'm never had a uh, uh, hype man. You never had me yet. He go crazy. With my mind. I hey, they popping bottles back there. 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 They popping that is exactly yeah, what man. we're talking about today. Yeah, man. Your grind. journey. Yeah. The grind. It's been crazy. To being where, where you at right now. First yeah. of all, I don't know if y'all see the shirt. Wrap the shirt real quick. That has yeah. dirty. Yeah. Uh, Rare Markham X piece. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Shout out the legend. Yeah. yeah. You know, I... It's been been collecting for twelve years, man. So uh, it's it's all I wear, man. It's it's uh, more than clothes to me. You know, you, yeah. it tells a story. You know, this is that, this is that history, does man. say something. Yeah, this is history. So you know, that's that's something that's just grown for me, man. And it became a business, and that was that was crazy. Isn't that, that crazy, crazy? How you just do something that you like yeah. first, and you don't. You, you might not. I don't know if you had the business mind for it, but you're just doing it, and then. Later on down the line, 12 years, you're like, look where I'm at yeah, now. No. Some people don't have that heart to stay for that long, you know? For sure. No, so, that's dope. I've always been a hustler. I've always been, you know, uh, loved money, loved finding ways to get money, trying to, you know, do things the right way, sometimes yeah. not the right way. Yeah. But, um, yeah, when I graduated college, um, it's my pops got me a crazy Minnesota Gophers, like 1997 Final Four a gopher snapback Mm -hmm. i was like man where'd you get this he was like oh i got it at the thrift store yeah thrift store we had lived right around the corner from one when he told me that this was when like Wiz Khalifa currency and all of them was hot. Yeah. It was snapback crazy cargo, you know, army shorts. That was that was the vibes back then. Yeah. So I went one day and I found a couple snapbacks, but I was like, what else do they got? Started going through seeing so many champion jerseys and just different things. Polo, I was big on polo when I first started. So yeah. seeing pieces like that or Kooji sweaters, I'm like, man, these is three dollars, four dollars. Mm. You know, so I was copying them, and then people would start asking, like, bro, where'd you get that? You know what I'm saying? How'd you, how'd you get that piece? Yeah. 
thrift. And then the hustler side of me was like, oh, I might try I to start selling this. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Wow, that's that's awesome. Because I've never, me personally, I go to the thrift store to give my stuff away, you know? Because mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I got too many stuff here. But to have that uh, business mind to actually do something like that, that's dope. But um, before we even touch on that, I want to go a little bit of uh, a little bit of your background. You know, like yeah. that's what I like people to see so they know who you are as an individual, for right? Sure, so for sure. give us a little background of, uh, you know, where you from, where you yeah, born. Yeah. Come on, give us yeah. that whole lowdown. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This episode of Edition Podcast is brought to you by Rob Beauty Skin and Body Bar, a place to revitalize, refocus, and refresh. Rob Beauty Skin and Body Bar has the ultimate facials for anybody's skin condition. For more information, visit www.robbeauty.com. Let them know who brought you in. Guliato Bang a Boyle. Let's get it. Born, raised on the north side of Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. Uh, graduated from North High in 2006. Mm-hmm. Graduated from the University of Tuskegee, HBCU. HBCU. Stand okay. up uh, 2011. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, come from a home. My mom and pops. Uh, Pops is a pastor, you know, so I was a PK. Uh, What's that? What's that for the people who don't know out there? Preacher's kid. Preacher's kid. Oh, okay. (laughs) I was like, okay, penalty kid. Preacher's kid. Preacher's kid. So, you know, um, yeah, man, just my Pops was probably one of my biggest influences. Uh, Just somebody that was being relentless, you know, Mm -hmm. and just goes after whatever he sees. Um, And a lot of that was instilled in me, you know. uh, My faith and my work ethic definitely is something I learned. Uh, growing up and has carried me along the way through all the journeys and uh, mm-hmm. trials and tribulations that I've been through for sure. As being a PK, you know, preacher's kid, as you would call it, did they have you? You had to be at every Sunday church service, huh? Every Sunday, Couldn't miss one. Friday, Wednesday. Well, when I got older and started hooping and having tournaments and things like that, yeah. I, would, I would miss it a little bit, but you know that. Zero to like twelve. Yeah, you it was relentless, bro. <laughs> it was relentless. That's why I don't like dressing up now. I hate dressing up. Uh-huh. I, don't, I can't catch me in a suit unless I I have to do it for a reason. So yeah, yeah. But outside of dressing up, I mean, it was cool. You know, I loved it. Love my family and everything like that. So it's been it's been a big part of my upbringing and who I am for sure. Yeah. No, you gotta have faith. You know, that's that's whether whatever religion you're based in. You know, it does exactly. help out you and your life. Exactly. You know, get through a couple things. Man, that's that's awesome. So. Now, I know when we first met, we were at Epicor, right? Epicor, Epicor Software. Software, right? And, uh, you know, you just hop in one day. I was like, okay, another fellow brother, and let me just mm-hmm. go holler at him. And uh, come to find out, we had, like, similar interests, right? Yeah, yeah. And I learned, you know, some games from you, and you were teaching me a couple things. And I was like, man, that's dope. And then we also ended up at another yep. spot together. Yep, yep, so, in four, yep. Uh, for the people that, guess, like, you know, that always want to have that, in the back of their mind that you're doing too much. You know, yeah, I got a yeah. lot going on. Yeah. Tell them how you personally, I want them to know how you balance doing yeah. so much, man. Yeah, like yeah. music, vintage. Yeah. Then you have <clears throat> your basketball coach, your father at the yeah. end of the day, a yeah. husband. Uh, so you got to be at home to all of that. You know, take don't care stop. of this. Yeah. So like for someone that wants to do like things that you're doing, you know, how does one keep a balance, you know, yeah. and make sure they don't go crazy? Right. That's a great question. Mm-hmm. I think it got a lot of layers. Yeah. Um, it's something that I had to learn for sure. Yeah. Um, when we started working together, um, when I started working at N4, I had just actually lost my store, mm-hmm. you know, uh, so that was, what, 2018, I want to say. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me, it was uh, during that time when I lost my store, I was, I was sick, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got robbed, and it was just, it was an unfortunate situation, and I was a new father, new yeah. husband at the time. So responsibilities-wise, I was like, I got I to gotta figure something else out. And yeah. I had some friends that worked in tech, and I was like, dude, you should look into that. Mm-hmm. Got in there, you know, and uh, I started doing that, but it didn't fulfill me, I yeah. guess. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. The money was cool. It helped me get back where I needed to be. Yeah. But I've always still stayed in the bins. I still stayed thrifting. I was mm-hmm. always collecting. And the business side of me still wanted to create, you know. And during that time, I started to do pop-up shops again and I started to do like flea market events and things like Mm. that just kind of staying around it staying consistent with it while working my job Uh, just finding that extra time you know something I was passionate about it was something that bought in good income and Uh, if I could, I could do it. It, it makes sense. For you the, know? yeah, for the kids out there, they're just like, man, them shirts cost 
two dollars you know at the thrift store you know yeah, yeah. let them know how much money you you don't have to give a specific number. maybe give a range like what's the most expensive that maybe you've seen go for a lot or yeah, yeah. or you personally have yeah, yeah. So, uh have sold you know just uh, so they know listen kids i mean the market right now is pretty crazy you yeah. know there's t-shirts going for on average two thousand and up mm. uh there's specific tees of course that's not every t-shirt but there are specific styles there are specific uh wrap tees a lot that go for a very high value some tees six thousand ten thousand i mean you can find them for 50 cents you know mm. um it, it could be life-changing you know if you know what you're looking for or, yeah. or if it's something that you're interested in it's a life-changing thing you know i've been i've been selling for 12 years and this was the first thing that I ever saw six figures doing, mm. it, it wasn't from a job. It was from selling, selling t-shirts, vintage t-shirts, wow. jackets and stuff, you know. So it takes a lot of time yeah. and it, it takes, you know, uh, you got to be consistent just like <laughs> with anything you do. Yeah. But the buy-in is the lowest it's buy-in like, for the biggest return that I've ever seen, yeah. you know. That's that. legal, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's legal that you can, <laughs> that you can do. Um, I don't know too many things where where I could put in, you know, five dollars and potentially make two thousand. Yeah. On, on, on you know, the right pools, and that don't happen all the time. So that's why I say consistency, consistency is, is yeah. key, because you know it's big. Mid pays the bills. That's what they say in, in, in vintage, and that's t-shirts that are forty and fifty dollars. Yeah. Those are the ones that pay the bills yeah. to be able to buy the bigger ones and to sell and make those profits. You know, it's yeah. it's all a hustle and a game on really how to be successful in doing it. Since you've been doing it for 12 years, the reason I started the podcast is to give, you know, individuals that want to follow somebody's footstep, whether it's an entrepreneur mm -hmm. or playing sports somewhere, right? 12 years is a lot of time. And yeah, I yeah. believe me personally, this, I always don't think that the next person that want to do the same as you should not take that amount of time for them. You know, it, it, it should be brought 100%. down a little bit sooner. Yeah, yeah. So, just you don't have to get the whole game because you should come out with an ebook or something, you know. Or something I thought about that, but no, I like to give game. game that's, why I, that's one of the reasons I make music. Yeah, I like talking. Yeah. yeah so so yeah. what? What should the individuals be looking for? Because I can go to the thrift store right now and don't know 100%. what the hell I'm buying. Trying to look, 100 you know? percent. Mm -hmm. um, there's groups on Facebook. There's Instagram pages. There's Google. You know, just type in vintage. You mm -hmm. know, vintage hip hop T-shirts, vintage rock T-shirts, mm -hmm. most popular. And, and once you start seeing what they are, I'm, I'm gonna give you some game. You want to go to eBay, or you want to go to some different sites that are big resale platforms. Yeah. And from there, you start to see what they sell for. You can filter it out, see what things sell for. Once yeah. you start to see what they're selling for then you kind of get a sense to what to look for. You know, I know, you know, these rap tees are going for this amount, but I know that these Disney tees are going for 200. I know these anime tees are going for X amount. Mm -hmm. So now if I'm out in the thrifts yeah. and I see something with this old tag, or yeah. if I see something within this genre that has maybe the printing or the dates of that, yeah. I'm going to grab that piece. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab that piece create yourself a resale store there's tons of applications to do it on yeah um <clears throat> and start to sell build a platform on instagram yeah. create a page on instagram and start to sell there's lots of live events um that you can go to in the twin cities for sure you can get a booth you know once you have accumulated enough yeah and that's where you can really start to build a following yeah. to where you have people that start coming back coming to you, back for you, you know. Okay. Um, and there's different ways you can find inventory, you know. Uh, there's the regular thrift store. Yeah. Um, there's the bins, and the bins are... Yeah, I was about to say, what are bins? What is that? The Goodwill that? Outlets. Mm -hmm. um, so Goodwill Outlets, there's maybe three of them in Minnesota. Yeah. I ain't going to tell y'all where they at. <laughs> but there's three of them in, in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. There, there's three of them in Minnesota. Yeah. And it's you buy clothes by the pound. Mm. So it's 99 cents per pound. A shirt wow. weighs a couple ounces. Yeah. So on averages, you could get about five to eight T-shirts per pound. Mm. Let's say you spend 50 dollars yeah. you know what i mean that's almost 250 275 shirts that you've gotten mm -hmm. you paid 50 dollars even if you charge 10 bucks on those shirts you've made three thousand. yeah wow at 10 bucks 
That's how. <laughs> and and within those t-shirts, you're yeah. gonna find some bangers yeah. that you can that you can upsell a little bit too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it don't come fast all the time, mm-hmm. but when it starts to get consistent, it, yeah. it picks up. Wow. Yeah. Hey, I might yeah. you might see me go high man. Oh boy, <laughs> thrift store shoddy, baby. Hey man. Everything hey. So do you think it'll be a smart idea right now for let's say uh, what's hot for us right now, right? Just like I don't know, maybe whatever brand or some clothing to yeah. hold those so then in the future th- this could be their kind of their thrift. Um, you know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. I think that sustainability <clears throat> sustainability is a big thing in the economy so now you're starting to see a lot of big retail stores and a lot of big chain stores incorporate selling old vintage clothing wow because they're getting incentives now that's going to get larger more larger stores are going to start selling that more people are going to be reselling vintage clothes Mm -hmm. it's going to get to a point to where reselling is just taking over the retail market Mm. you know what i mean and i think that it'd be smart of people to start holding on to things that are rare. Yeah. Just like sneakers. Um, That's true. That and true. 20 years from now. That oops. could be the great investment that you did. Exactly. Wow. Hell yeah. Exactly. Damn. So yeah, I'm going to start hoarding everything. They just call me a hoarder from now on. I see why they do that. <laughs> exactly. So, actually. Yeah. Exactly. One of my yeah. cousins just had to go do, a, uh, he he works for like the one 800 junk people. Oh, you word. Talk about. Ooh, I need to get in contact with him yeah, whenever yeah. there's clothes. Yeah. Let me know. I'm, okay. Yeah. He should be. I don't know what time he's going to get home, but either way, I'm, I'm going to see because they be, I guess. Just whatever these people don't Off want. Off wax, either, bro. Yeah, I need, I need that. I need that plug. Yeah, <laughs> I, I need gotcha. that plug. Anytime you get clothes, just throw them back throw to them the back side to... and let me look through them. Say yeah. less. I got you. Yeah, so yeah. now, um, doing no, you just speaking a little bit about retail, right? And I know there's a bunch of pop ups that happens. What are the mm-hmm. difference, I guess, between a pop up and retail? And which one do you prefer? Do you go to a lot? Um, of so for me, mm-hmm. I got started doing pop up shops. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I'm not. I'm not gonna say I got started doing pop up shops. Pop up shops is what took off for, okay. for me selling mm-hmm. vintage um when i started selling in 2012 it was a slow burn you know <clears throat> it wasn't a lot of sales there it wasn't a lot of transactions at all mm-hmm. uh, but I, I just stayed consistent and kept collecting and in 2016 yep I read this book by Damon John called The Power of Broke. Uh, Damon John is the founder of FUBU. FUBU, okay. Yeah, yep, Shark, yep, Tank. Shark Tank. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. He had a book called The Power of Broke, and in there he talked about the proof of concepts mm-hmm. and how if you have a business idea, you need to prove that this concept actually works before you go all out into a business, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Um, so at that time, I was like, I'm going to do a pop-up shop. Yeah. Like my collection had gotten much crazier. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a lot more inventory. So I did like seven pop up shops. We grossed like 70K, you know. And for me, I'm like, in, in a three month span, I was doing them every other week, mm. every other week for about three months straight. Yeah. And it was lines around the building. It was, it was crazy. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> it, was, it, was it was crazy. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I got something, you know. So I opened a store. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it was from from the proof of concept. I opened the store. Mm-hmm. I like now pop up shops because I don't want to have to pay overhead. Overhead, I don't yeah. Want inventory, yeah. And employees and robbery and all of that. I don't. I don't want to have to worry about that. I can sell online and make double, and I don't have to pay any rent or I don't mm. have to pay any overhead. And yeah. then with a pop up shop, I can rent out a space. space yeah whatever and i can make that back in one or two t-shirts <laughs> That's i'm there true. all day or all weekend yeah. you know so i like the idea of the of a pop-up shop i haven't done either mm-hmm. for you know a couple years yeah i've really just sold online online and, okay uh, when co- once covid hit online is really where i transitioned to and it's it's been much better. But, so, yeah, I was about to say, know, that's I, smart, I, man. I've been, yeah, I've been chilling. You're supposed yeah. to move with the times, you know, like, because if you don't man. evolve, you're going to yeah. get left behind, like exactly. you're saying, and now online's where it's at. Because in the morning, sometimes when I wake up, man, and I see your eyes, actually, let me go a little bit back quick. You just telling me about your story, you know, of it, you know, the overhead, the people and things like that. You told me this back when we were at Epicor, right? Mm-hmm. And there's a guy who was selling some shoes, too. I actually did an episode with him, um, Walt, Walt, and that's what he wants to be called. Um he, I was just talking to him for like 40 minutes, just telling him, he's like, yeah, I'm about to open up a store. I'm like, 
you know, I had a friend that actually just told me a little bit about the story. Mm-hmm. This is what you actually have to worry about. And mm-hmm. and da 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 da. And there was some bad news that just happened. This store just got robbed a couple times Damn. now and they had to close it down too, right? Yeah, and I'm bro. like, there's it's, people's It's an unfortunate know. thing, you mm-hmm. know. It's an unfortunate thing that happens in business that you gotta be ready for. Yeah. Um but even though that happened, you know, looking back at it yeah. years later, I could have went about other steps to where I could have I could have overcame, o- overcame that, that yeah. overcame that, you mm-hmm. know. But that's just with growth and maturity, you know. It's no loss; it's a lesson. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's kind of how I try to take everything that I'm I, I deal with or go against yeah. as, as lessons for real. That's no, that's that's a great mindset to have because if you don't have that, you're gonna be stuck in that situation for yeah. a while. And you're just gonna you'll be, be frustrated, you know, for frustrated. No reason. Yeah, yeah, you it's gotta like move you on going. and grow. And the one thing I always learned is that like <clears throat> these things that happen. I won't say. <laughs> they happen for a reason, even though that might sound bad. These mm-hmm, some of these mm-hmm. unfortunate events happen for a reason, and you learn. Like now, you, if you want to be a consultant, technically, mm-hmm. you could be like, all right, hey, I went through this, and this is exactly how you should avoid that. Yeah, and man, just, just giving some game, game on how here. how to avoid it, and <laughs> if you want to do it, how to do it the right way. way you yeah. know what I'm saying? Make sure your books is in order. Make sure things that back. <laughs> Anybody could post. Anybody could do so- social media and build a following and build a brand and do that. That's what what social media and direct to consumer that's yeah. that's what these platforms are made to do mm-hmm. it, it's the back end you yeah. know that that sustain that make businesses sustain that make businesses grow mm-hmm. and that make businesses evolve you know yeah and i learned that working in tech well, you yeah. know what i'm saying and I, that <laughs> it's, it's the craziest thing it's like when yeah. i when I, I lost a store i went to something that was what I needed, bro. Yeah. I needed this to learn this learn. tech and, and learn what these businesses really do and how they operate, operate. at such a high level. Yep. Because I want to operate at a high, high level, level. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I didn't know how. I've been selling tech and working in technology for four years now. Yeah. It, it, it makes it's sense. Cl- it, it makes hey, sense yeah. now, you feel me? Like, And you know, you, you're yep. into it. it. It makes sense. I never, like you said that, I've never understood business. I've never thought like it's mm-hmm. achievable for someone like me, you know, yeah, I was yeah. just like, I was like, these companies are big, they got big yeah. buildings, and mm-hmm. they got all these departments, and I'm like, the best thing that I learned is go in there and actually figure out how they do this. They're technology, humans just bro. like you. Yeah, it's the software, it's yeah. the technology, it's the, the infrastructure sure, that's, that's put in place, That's why it is, man. that yeah. infrastructure, like, and then they just compartmentalize everything. Okay, marketing, all you do focus on marketing. That's it. HR, <laughs> HR, mm-hmm. sales people, exactly. you better be able to yeah, sell. And then exactly. I was like, I learned, so you just got to put, as a CEO, mm-hmm. I always like looking at some CEOs and some people that are higher, you know, the higher ups is whatever they want to call, but I was like, some of them, when I would ask some questions, they might not have the answer, but they know where to go get it, right? And I'm like, whoa, you're the that's VP of this. That's just as important you know? as knowing the answer. Yes, knowing that's just it as is. important. But then, because I never thought that I could be there, I was mm-hmm. like, they must have an MBA. Yeah. They must be the smartest yeah. mother sucker in the world. But yeah. I'm like, no, if it's through the experience that they learn how to actually put people in the right places, Navigate. they know how to get things. Yeah. And that's what makes you valuable at exactly. that spot. And when I learned that, I'm like, everything's achievable when I was just now putting the right mm-hmm. individuals and the right people. So, play that things chess. in place, man. That's for dope, sure. man. Yeah. So, that's, I'm glad we both learning from that, you know, because yeah. you can apply it to everything you do now. Exactly. Um, now, talk a little bit about uh, what's your biggest platform that you sell on? I know you're on IG. I'll be seeing you in the morning. That's what I was touching on a yeah. little bit, you know, where you are going live with other individuals. Like, tell us a little bit yeah. about that. Um, IG was a very big, big platform for me in mm-hmm. 20. 20 and 2021 Mm -hmm. uh haven't sold too much this year i i have more independent like relationships and i have people that i just sell to directly yeah um so that's kind of what i've been doing this year it's just i got a couple people that buy direct from me so Mm -hmm. i do that now but instagram was really big for me depop was another place that i i did numbers and uh ebay yeah those those three platforms for me um generated a lot. Yeah, 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 man, that's that's yeah. awesome. Cause yeah. same thing when I started buying shoes, right? I wasn't really sm- I'll just post, right? Yeah, and like people were giving me so much information that I wasn't taking it down and writing it down. Yeah. I should have. They were like, "I'm a size ten. Every time you get a size ten, holla up. at me." Hit me up. And that's I, stuff, Matt, I was like, service. "Why didn't I do that?" Customer service, bro. That's what I should have did. Service, so, bro. Yeah. And now yeah. every time I get something that's their size, you know, if I remember, which I should again, I should have like an mm-hmm. Excel sheet or something Excel where sheet, it's just Excel. okay. This size ten. Hey, do you want this? Mm-hmm. So that's how I think I could better improve by actually 
when you get these customers' information, you know, building this relationship, make sure you write it down somewhere, whether it's Facts. birthday, Facts. you know, something important to what, them. The what? style, from the style of tees they like, what, mm-hmm. you know, what they size. You know, I have some some homies in the league that play. I have some people that, you know, I when I get one in there, I just know, boom, send it over. Yeah. yeah, let me get that. You know, like make the process easy for you for as a business person as well. You yeah. know, if you, if you know you got a guaranteed, make sure that you're, you're – so, getting that taken care of, you yeah. know, um, yeah, it's yeah, that it's just systems, bro. Systems, CRM, bro. what is it? Yeah. Customer relationship yeah. management. Yo, that's yeah, that's major. I learned that. Like big Shout out fact. to Salesforce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um, since you do a lot of things on the side, like another thing that you do, you know, is the music side. You know, mm-hmm. how'd you get involved in music? You know, what what was your interest in that, and yeah, what influenced yeah. you to become a yeah for a, sure an artist. Uh, I've been playing the drums since I was five years old, mm. you know, uh, grew up in church. At church, okay, yeah. Playing yeah. the drums, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, always loved hip-hop, always loved rap. Um, it's funny, man, my dad, the pastor, years ago, <laughs> years pastor. ago, asked me, like, why don't you rap? I Your looked, dad said that? I was like, what? what? <laughs> why, why are you asking me that? He was just like... Your story, you didn't, you didn't did a lot. There's a lot of things that you didn't been through, you know, and you, you smart. You could, you can tell it in a put good way. You could yeah. put it together, you know. And I had never thought about it. Um, and then, you know, I just, uh, man, I hit a, I hit a stage when I was younger, bro, where I was just in my twenties trying to figure stuff out, mm-hmm. and writing was therapeutic for me. You yeah. know, it, it just became something that was therapeutic for me. You know, I started to write, I started to write music, you know, yeah. and and they just evolved and then you know i uh i continued i i started to record and it just felt good i i had some cool opportunities um when i first started doing it back in like 2016 or 2017 i don't put a lot of music out yeah because i'll be i'm not a rapper bro you know what i'm <laughs> saying I'm, I'm really i'm not a, i'm not a rapper i i'm i'm a hustler and now i talk about just giving game okay, like yeah. you know duffel back chronicles was literally given like a playbook of how I learned how to sell vintage, how I do it and the things that work for me. You know, I think I have a song called Thrift Commandments and it's like giving the 10 Take steps it. that you need to have to be an effective vintage reseller. You know, like I just like to give game and, and talk talk shit sometimes because I, I, I don't, you know, I don't post and I don't do all that, but in yeah. my music, I could I could have fun and talk a little shit. So. Yeah, just like that song we yeah. played earlier at the end, you know, the guy, yeah. he was just talking, having a little conversation, he's yeah. like, hey, what's the difference between you and my shirt? <laughs> Mine's reprinted. He's like, yeah. uh, about a couple thousand. Yeah, well, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Jake, just, I see you talking And that's crazy. not my, you know, that ain't yeah. how I be for real, but it yeah. be like that, though, it, you know, I, I just don't, that's not my stuff. That's good. I, I wear, yeah, I wear this stuff because I like it, not because of the price you yeah. know what i'm saying if i got it i ain't pay that price <laughs> yeah I, I, i've been in this game for a minute i know how to get what i need so mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. i just seen you just did a uh you just on uh you just performed on stage a i did bit ago, for right? the first time in like i think was that my first time since south by southwest uh yeah bro that was my first time in like five years six well, years performing man how'd that feel getting it, back on it stage, felt really you know? good the, mm-hmm. the next couple of days i wrote like six songs i got a new ep i'm gonna you know start recording probably yeah. this week um so i'll have that out this summer but okay. yeah it, it's fun man it's just therapeutic i like doing it it ain't like oh this is what i need for my life to be successful or nothing mm-hmm. you're just doing it because i just like to do it and you did you yeah. say you were, you performed at south by side west yeah, did, yeah. wow that's in yeah, texas I that's big that's ago. major yeah it was fun it that's was awesome fun. how'd was you fun. get how'd you get involved how'd you get in that what you <laughs> vintage actually vintage wow. i was selling to uh Mr. Marcello, uh, y'all, most listeners probably is not gonna know who that is. He was mm-hmm. part of No Limit way mm-hmm. back in the day uh, with Master P, P. Wow. and uh, he was working with Currency, um, one of my favorite rappers. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had sent Currency actually some packages, some vintage packs. He uh, he's he's copped some stuff from me in the past, mm-hmm. and. We just had started talking, and I was like, well, yeah, I do music or whatever, too. And they was like, dude, just come down and perform at South by Southwest. Mm-hmm. And I stayed in the mansion with my homies. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we, we kicked it. It was fun. It was fun. Wow, yeah. look at that. Look I just thought I'm not good at marketing music. Yeah. So I just put, you know, put it out, whatever whatever it does, it does. But, you know, it's been some fun opportunities. Was that sure. something that I know you said you're doing for fun right now? Let's say, like. You say you might not be good at marketing, right? Mm-hmm. What if you just start <clears throat> marketing and going going crazy? You know, like, mm-hmm. and would you take that route then too, or how um, would you? Which I don't one would you know, balance, bro. man? I, I don't. I, you know, I'm I'm a father of two. I'm married, yeah. bro. I ain't. You know, uh, 
it did really well i i, I had over ten thousand views on my previous on this past project and I, i'll take that as a win for Wait. somebody that ain't <laughs> put a project out in five years that yeah. you know don't really promote it and just you know just from my vintage following i think it, it, it had views because people in the vintage world mm, rock with what it was you know talking about but yeah you know i'd perform at a couple of places but i wouldn't make that be my life no nah. wow. okay gotcha, nah, gotcha. nah man I, i'm getting money other ways <laughs> <laughs> uh so one of the other questions i had you know because you're you're a basket what people don't know he he a hooper too some like some like that some so like, you now know. now you're taking that knowledge you had and you, you became a coach you know you were coaching yeah. for a little while tell yeah. us about your experience coaching then yeah uh, man uh, i've coached for like the past four years mm -hmm. uh I've coached all different ages from sixth grade this past year i coached freshmen mm -hmm. um most challenging year I uh, for me coaching. Uh, well, win record wise, you know I've had a pretty good win record. Okay. You know this year we we didn't have the best record. Yeah. But the boys grew a lot, you know, and yeah. and they were able to develop, and I built good relationships with the kids, and you know, uh, I ain't go, I ain't play ball all in college like that, and mm -hmm. I had a bad attitude, you know. I I know a lot of my pitfalls that 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 kept me mm -hmm. from from getting to places that I could have maybe went with yeah. basketball, um, and I just try to you know help help with that aspect and just I, I understand the game so i like to give game with with basketball but also outside of the court yeah how you how this transitions and how so many lessons i learned in mm -hmm. basketball i played you know at a high level you know all throughout high school and you know the lessons that you learn in basketball yeah transitioned over to your everyday life the work ethic the work grind you got to put in the the regiments the yep. scheduling bro yep. is, is real like um you know i know you asked balance earlier bro like mm -hmm. i wake up at 4 30 every day you yeah. know what i'm saying i have a <laughs> spreadsheet bro and i have I, day by day hour by hour the things i gotta do to yeah. try to be consistent to give my all in each area that i can you yeah. know and yeah, just try to teach them that game that it, it, it definitely transitions. And if you want to take this serious, whatever it is that you're trying to do, yeah. you got to put that work, work in. in. Yeah. It ain't about them just posting these pictures and looking <laughs> cool on game yeah. day, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and putting something on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever, bro. Mm -hmm. you got to put that work in. For real. You know, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, them likes don't mean nothing. Not that. <laughs> don't mean nothing, bro. Them yeah. likes don't mean nothing if you ain't putting that work, work. in. Yeah, you're gonna get exposed. You're gonna get exposed. Later, and it's you gonna know, be so sad. It's gonna hurt your feelings. That was my message, you know, and mm -hmm. some received it, you know, and, and that's 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 all you could that's hope. That's all you can do. That's all you can as hope. A co bro, yeah, that's all you can hope. As long sure. as you did your part of um yeah. that's why like I said, I started this. I, I wanna do my part to give them yeah. the game, right? Yeah. So now I can wash my hands free of your what did BS I do? that you do, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. oh, ain't nobody give us that information. Oh, no. did you watch that? Exactly. Oh, did you maybe did it's his there. IGs out there. It's there? Did you reach out? Yeah. And ask her just a quick question. Yeah. So it's that's there, man. That's why I want to take all the excuses away from a lot of the younger kids coming up because I feel like some of them are going backwards. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. especially as an immigrant that we come in. You know, a lot of the kids not not a, I won't say a lot, but from what I see at least in our community, a lot of kids are getting in trouble. You know, they don't understand when you are getting in trouble, you're Especially here, your record kind of dictates. Yeah, and where, I, yeah. I think social media big, bro. I think mm -hmm. that, you know, it's a positive and a negative to this tool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I was talking to one of my homies the other day, and mm -hmm. if I had Instagram when I was in high school, mm -hmm. I would be doing the same stuff that they do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be doing the exact same stuff, bro. Posting the same things, talking the same way, acting just... That's, that's how you are when you're young, but... If you're able to understand that that's not what this tool is for and this tool is something I can actually really learn and grow and be better and instead of really talking about getting money, yeah. there's there's kids out here that are making hundreds of thousands of selling vintage, bro. I be seeing little 14-year-olds on, yeah. on selling on Instagram and on... If you put this focus into the things, mm -hmm. the right things, social media could be a powerful tool. And by the time you 18, man, you you in a whole other place yeah, that, than that that you would have taken you to your in your 20s, 20s. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just by avoiding bullshit on social media, like that, that's gonna set kids back years just by falling into bullshit versus yeah. what you can be following and yeah. you know and enli enlightening your mind. Yeah, that's uh, that's why I went the uh, the education route. I'm trying to make a balance where you know, cause when people know me, yeah. I like to make people goofy. laugh. I like yeah. to go, you yeah. know, goofy yeah. guys. Yeah. So it's like I'm like I'm trying to find the best way between um being educational and entertaining at the same time. Yeah. If it's 
the entertainment, our people love entertainment. Yeah, of course. And they'll, you course, know, everyone likes entertainment, but we te- we team we seem to go that way instead it's of the time education and a place, man. And yeah. time, it's time to educate and level up and build right now, man. Like yeah. now more than ever, people are able to build wealth. Like take advantage Quick, of this yeah. opportunity. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Be smart about it. Like it don't matter how young you are no more. That, no, that don't matter. Facts. That, that don't matter. Facts. These kids know how to work a phone. Yeah. A phone is what can make you a millionaire. Not just off of being a social media star, yeah. but learning businesses within my phone. How can I make this make me money? You mm-hmm. know? Um, so yeah, just, just you follow know, the right things. Don't not be on there, but be on there for the right reason. You know, that's where I uh what when I when my mind blew, because I have younger brothers, right? Well, I'm, 22 the other one's probably yeah. 20 and 17 and other, now we got younger one even yeah, younger yeah. ones right and the one day that blew my mind bro i had a supreme shirt that i was looking to sell yeah and somebody's hitting me up on facebook and i go to meet up with this individual it's a kid with his mom but it's the kid you know the yeah, mom is there yeah, just to course, make sure everything course, goes right right but he, he was i i asked him i was like yo how old are you i wow. think at that time he said 14 15 mm-hmm. i'm like what? Yeah, yeah. What are you? What, what's going on? And hey. I'm like, my little brothers ain't doing this. Yeah. And they're two, three years older than him. Yeah. And this little kid is buying it for the low for me because I wanted to get rid of it. I just made a little bit, and then he's gonna. Resell his mom it. was like, "Yeah, he's got a bunch. He's got this one, this one, this yeah. one." Da, da. I'm like, and blew my mind. I called home ASAP. I'm like, "What are y'all doing? Are y'all selling anything? <laughs> yeah. Why aren't y'all selling anything?" Yeah, bro. Like, it's, wh- it's and you know the mm-hmm. supreme way the resale for hype is is more expensive, but mm-hmm. it's the same concept with vintage. You yeah. Know? And if you think about Vintage is such a more wide variety. Mm-hmm. You know, like I sold all three. I done sold sneakers. Mm-hmm. I done sold I done sold hype, bape, supreme, all of that. Yeah. I done sold vintage. Through all of that, it's done been <laughs> this the most, one. most yeah. consistent, man, for Facts. sure. You know, the sneaker game is getting 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 very crowded, man. You know. Super. Um and and just along with the UAs that's out there, Ooh. the the <laughs> if there, there's, I don't want I don't want no parts of that game. Yeah, I don't want no parts of that game. You yeah. Know? So yeah, it's it's crazy the information that's out there. If you if you take the time to you know focus in on the on the right things, it could be very beneficial for your near future and far and future. future. You know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. So now that's most of the things that I wanted to touch on, right? So I was like, okay, now. Is there anything else that I might have missed? Because I've got it's my one brain today. Akeem's not here to you yeah, know yeah, back yeah, me yeah, out for yeah, it or yeah. somebody else. So it's like, is there any other things that is missing? You know that I feel like I didn't touch on that we can maybe even go in and elaborate more on it. Um, I just think as far as balance, bro. Uh, mm-hmm. I think you know you you touched on that earlier. Just how how do you do that? I think that's the biggest thing for anywhere you're trying to go. You got to have balance and mm-hmm. just stay consistent. Yeah, um, you know, staying consistent. Can can move a lot of mountains, bro. Yeah, ha- having having the faith or the 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 will to just push through and work and yeah. be consistent. If you got a goal or got a vision, mm-hmm. it could, it could change your life. You know, selling vintage tees, like I said, is the first six figures I ever got, bro. It's yeah. I never thought that I would get that when I first started vintage tees, selling yeah. tees, bro. Never, never. You know, it, it's it's giving me and put me in positions that I never thought that I could be in. Mm-hmm. All from going to Goodwills and Salvation <laughs> Armies, right. you know, so if, if I was able to, you know, make something out of literally nothing, people's yeah. hand-me-downs, people stuff that people throw away, you yeah. know, I saw value in it. If you be consistent in whatever it is that you're doing, mm-hmm. there's 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 an opportunity, and so especially much. with right now, just find a way to monetize it, you yeah. know, and, and, and stay passionate. You don't got to quit your job. You don't got to do all of that. Yeah. Learn to finesse. Learn to balance this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Deal. You get 24 hours in a day. Yeah. Make the most of it. Man, make the most of it. That's 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 what I got to say. Man, you, you gave a lot of game today, and I appreciate you for that. Now, for the people looking, man, because yeah. my cousin, you know, the shirt's in the back. You know, yeah, he yeah. likes buying vintage clothes. Yeah, you know, yeah, for the yeah. people that are looking to find you, it would be like, hey, I want some vintage stuff. What yeah, you got yeah, in the yeah, work? Yeah, you know, sure, so where, where, sure. where can they find you and how do they, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Duffel and all that bag vintage. Okay, we'll put uh, it right Yeah, yeah right duffel in front bag of it. underscore VTG. Mm-hmm. That's where I uh, post 
Uh, like I said, I ain't been too active selling, but I am always selling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just hit me up in the DMs. If you're looking to buy some things, if I got it available, I mm-hmm. can definitely, uh, you know, help you out with that. He's got, hey, and he's got some stuff available. I know that. So yeah. uh, anything else? What's coming up in the future here? Anything that last remarks that you want to? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, um, future, like I said, I'm going to have a music project coming out. Mm-hmm. Duffel Back Chronicles Part Two, part two? probably. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just you know keep it. I like that name, so I'll probably do Part Two. Yeah, uh, do that this summer. Um, just evolving in vintage. Yeah. you know, I'm just working, evolving, trying to figure out my next moves. Yeah, so stay tuned. Yeah, y'all stay tuned, man, and I appreciate you coming through today. Appreciate I know you've been working on me, it, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I know it's like thirty minutes away from everywhere, man, but we out, out here in the here, boondocks, bro. so you all the way out uh, here. It means it means a lot, you know, for appreciate people to come you out having here. Me, so man. Yes. thank you so much. Appreciate it. We're gonna go out just like this with your song. Hey. You're now to an edition podcast. Hey, and hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Stacking so much paper, your money don't even fall. Doing it for so long, you could do it with your eyes closed. We out here, man. The club busting. Let's get it. In traffic, making plays. Cause all of them packs were sold Been stacking so much paper Your money don't even fold